Alright, what's good family? I'm back with another video. This time I want to go over what's included inside the Pro Tools Mix template with the stock plugins. I'm just going to show you what I have set up and what you'll be getting with it. So I got Pro Tools set up with the session already pulled up. And I went over this a little bit in the last video, but I want to go into more detail and just show you what I have here. So for the first thing I have, I have a, a track that's set up for where you can upload your instrumental. It's a stereo track. You can literally just drag and drop your instrumental in here, or you can go to File, Import, Audio, and then do it that way. Um, I have a track, an audio track set up for your hook. You know, for this is really made for singers, songwriters, rappers, um, people who want to get into, you know, have a home studio and just get in and record easily and have everything set up. So. Of course you're gonna have a hook you're gonna have your verses your ad-libs strengtheners if you're a singer or a harmonizer you're gonna have some something where you're um that's more melodic so like harmonies I have three tracks set up for harmonies if you need more you can duplicate these tracks and create more tracks all of the vocals are gonna go to this track that says all vocals this is a bus and then I have the harmonies going to a separate bus and the harmonies are also going to go to all vocals. So all vocals are going to go to this bus. And the harmonies are going to go to this bus. And then I have um, different effects on here that you can use. I have a small verb. I have a mid verb and a big verb. Um, small verb is just usually for like, could be used for drums. It could be used for vocals. But it's just to have a smaller space. Mid verb is going to be a little bit bigger than the small verb. Obviously, it's just uh, to add more dimension to the to the track. So if you have something that's you want to be more close, you can use a small verb. You want something that's gonna be a little bit more far away. It sounds a little bit bigger. You're gonna use the bit verb. I mean the mid verb, and then the big verb is gonna give you that big, um, that big sound, that big orchestra type sound. And then we have a slap delay, a short delay, a long delay, a stereo spread distortion and then we have the final mix bus where everything is going to this bus um, after that bus that bus is gonna go to I have it going to my my main output right now but I have a final mix a final print mix track that you can pretty much set this to final mix print and then when you get ready to do your final print you'll print it onto this track I'll do another video um, I'm actually gonna do a whole mix series explaining how to create a song using this template and you'll be able to see from start to finish how to actually go about doing that but for that's for people who don't know if you already know then you already know what this is and how to use it I'm just showing you how to I'm just showing you what I have set up and you can go in there and configure and change however you want to do it this is just to give you a starting point so yeah I have that set up and then I have on my master which can be interchanged between the mix print. You can take these plugins and put it on the mix print. I have a limiter and I have a maximizer. That's just for the final output. So on my hook, on my vocals, I pretty much have the same thing on each track, just a little bit different settings. And I'll go into that when I go, when I actually uh, mix a song for you guys. So first one I have an EQ which is just doing some some basic shaping some basic cleanup for the vocals and I have some compression um, which is just doing some some light compression to to balance out the the dynamics of the vocals and I have another compressor after that doing the same thing just some light compression and then I have another EQ just to give it some shine some top ends some mids and a little bit of lows to to help the vocal stand out and then I have a limiter just to give it an overall, um, uh, to give it some overall loudness. And that's it for the vocals on the hook and the verses. And then I have that I have my out, um, not my outputs, but my auxes going to my effects. Small verb. I have a stereo spread to to widen the vocal out a little bit. Um, I have a short delay. Kind of like a slap delay, but it's not. It's 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 really more for a stereo image. Um, and I, you can see on here, I already have the settings dialed in, and you can pull them back however you want. But I just gave a general area of where I usually keep it. 
So I have a short delay. Like I said, just adding some stereo image. And then I have a 1 8 delay, which is my short delay, which is just giving some kind of like flavor. And I, I, I'll, I usually keep it low. And then what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll um, automate certain certain parts of the vocal where I want the slap I want that delay to come in. Then I have a one fourth delay which is longer than the which is longer than the eighth delay of course and it's just I rarely I rarely use that on, on vocals unless it's like a hook and it just calls for it. But I you see I have it pulled all the way down. You can play with it, mess with it just to see what it sounds like. Then I have an actual slap delay and I have distortion which is gonna give you some kind of um uh it helps the vocals to cut through the mix. So I had that on both the hook and I had that on the verses. Me personally, I do all my verses on one track and then I go from there. If I need to take, if I need to create another track for another verse because it just sounds different from my other vocals, I'll duplicate this track and just name it something else. And like I said, you can duplicate however, however many times you want and just create and however many of the same tracks that you want and then I have ad-libs so for the ad-libs I have a different EQ um, I cut most of the lows out added some mids added some highs I have a compression just doing some light compression same thing I added another compressor and then another EQ and then it's, it's pretty much the same formula as the verses except the first EQ and then for the ad libs, I have the mid verb, which is gonna give it some space. It's gonna give it that kind of uh, that background vocal sound. And I have a one eighth delay on there as well. And then strengtheners, I don't have any effects. Just the same type of um, EQ. Actually, I don't have anything on the on the strengtheners because what I do is I don't. Yeah, I don't have any any EQ processing on the EQ. Which you guys can change yourself if you like, but I don't put any EQ processing on my on my strengtheners. Um, so I have that set up, and then as you can see here, I have just general levels already set up. Like the track that comes in, most most MP3 tracks or wave tracks that come in, like if you're getting them off YouTube or if you're buying them from producers, they're already going to be kind of loud, so you want to turn them down. So I have mine down negative 10 B negative 10 db and this is going to vary from from song to song but this is just how it's set up and i actually have um underneath this video i have links to a before and after of this stock plugin no changes made i just dropped the files in and i exported it and i have a before and after and you can see what it sounds like um what i'll end up doing is actually going through and showing you how I made this template and how I um actually mix my songs in another video so you'll be able to see that but I just wanted to show you guys this so you can see what I have here and what you're getting with the uh with the with your purchase so you have this here so if you guys have any more questions just let me know um I have the limiter here which is just keeping the the sound the maximum sound from going over the threshold and then I have a maximizer which is just doing some semi mastering It's not mastering but it's just making the song a little bit louder say you wanted to put it on SoundCloud or you wanted to just leave it as is and put it on 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 Spotify or iTunes you're more than welcome to do that you know just right from here you know so you guys will be good to go so yeah that's it this is the stock plugins the Pro Tools mix template stock plugins it's completely free right now it'll be free for a short while as you can see it's twenty two dollars um I'll let you guys know when the sale is gonna be over but for now I wanna leave that open to anybody who wants to follow along with my videos like I said I'll be putting out some videos to show you guys how to actually mix down your song so until next time peace